Welcome to our channel Code is Arcade. In today's topic, let's discuss about waterfall model. Before we move ahead, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel Code is Arcade. And don't forget to press the bell icon so that you don't miss the future updates. So let's get to the topic waterfall model. Guys, waterfall model is one of the SDLC models. If you have seen my previous video, I have discussed about what is SDLC model and um, the types of SDLC models. Right? Among them, if you see the first one, we have waterfall model. Right? So what exactly is this waterfall model? Guys, whenever they ask you about this, please make sure you refer to my previous video because that is the answer for waterfall model. You can say the same answer whatever I have told you in, for the, in the previous video. The same SDLC model concept itself is applicable for waterfall model as well. So what are we going to discuss today then? right whenever they ask you for any of the models any of the sdlc models make sure you speak about what is exactly the sdlc model what are its advantages what are its disadvantages and um, in what cases do we have to consider going to that model okay let's see some of the advantages that we have for waterfall model the first advantage is that it is a very simple model guys it is nothing is very complicated the approach is very easy and for every sdlc model guys we have one common advantage that is software quality is going to be very good if you forget any of the advantages keep this in mind this advantage will always come in every sdlc model okay so your software quality is good your requirement changes are not allowed so that can turn out to be as an advantage as well now let's say if the requirement is not changing so you have one requirement which you are following there is no disturbance coming in between that's why you just follow this same requirement develop the same product and deliver it so in between there are no changes then there means there is not going to be any modification in your software so you, there are chances that the defect flow will be very less because the requirement is not changing and the initial investment in this waterfall model will be less later on the investment can increase but initially it is very less the initial investment in a waterfall model is less these are a few advantages that i can tell you of waterfall model now let's go to the drawbacks disadvantages of waterfall model first and foremost disadvantage guys is that the requirement changes are not allowed let's say you are the customer you have gone to a company and they are developing your software now meanwhile while they are developing their software you got a great idea to implement but then when you go to the company they would not allow you to do the requirement change will you feel somewhat let down or not you will right so this was the main drawback of this model we were not allowed to give requirement changes so that's one thing the second thing is that this is the most traditional model guys waterfall model this was followed very very long back even now they follow it but it's not very popular now this waterfall model because it was a very traditional model the companies did not know the right approach in how a corporate sector how we have it now they did not have a proper approach at that time so they did not have a separate testing team to do the testing that's why they completely trusted on the developers to do the testing also so the developers were given full authority to develop as well as also test the software there are a lot of disadvantages if developer is involved in testing like first thing he's going to be very confident about his software he's going to be like i have developed this software there can be no defects so he might not give very too much of importance to testing whereas if you see testing is equally important to how much how important the development is testing is also important right but he's not doing the testing at the end of the day let's say the customer is using the software and finally there is a defect he caught the defect then he's going to have a bad impression about you as a company right so the, these developers when they were involved in testing the quality was not good they would ignore some defects okay they were very confident on uh, their own software overall quality was dipping in waterfall model that was one disadvantage 
the other disadvantage is that the total time in overall development of the software time taken will be more why is because the customer he has to wait for the entire time okay he has to wait until the entire development is done in between he cannot get to see his software so the overall time taken will be more in waterfall model now one more disadvantage is there guys remember rba collects a requirement now that requirement has come to the company but then in waterfall model i never told you in my last video i have never mentioned about requirement undergoing testing document that is coming from the customer which is a crs customer requirement specification which is in his business language that is the customer's business language we are not testing it meaning let's say if he has made an error while creating that document and we have not tested that we haven't checked whether it is the right document or not we have just got into the development if there is a defect in the requirement itself it is flowing down till the development and even in the testing so that defect will flow right from the requirement to your software this is one drawback that in waterfall model don't test the requirement and as well as the design stage okay the design stage and requirement were not tested these were the advantages and disadvantages of waterfall model now guys when do we go for this model it is only when it is a very small project and a simple one a small and simple project we consider waterfall model point number 1 point number 2 is when the customer himself is saying he is saying that i am not going to change the requirement when he is saying that he is not going to change the requirement is when i can consider going to waterfall model simple and it should not be complex second thing is that the requirement change should not be there these are the times when we can consider going to waterfall model i hope you guys understood whatever we discussed here in this video if you have any sort of doubts please use the comment section below guys and let me know about your doubts thank you for watching this video have a nice day guys